Proton++ is a customizable declarative multi-touch framework. In Proton++, the user's actions are converted into a stream of touch event symbols. This allows application developers to specify multi-touch gestures as regular expressions describing a sequence of touch events. A Proton++ touch event symbol is comprised of a touch action, which can correspond to pressing a finger down, moving a finger, or lifting a finger up. A touch ID, such as the first touch, the second touch, etc. And a set of custom attribute values representing touch characteristics, such as the hit target of a touch, the direction of a touch, and others. For example, the S colon N represents the touch hitting a star target while moving north. In addition to specifying gestures as regular expressions, developers can specify gestures via gesture tablatures, a graphical notation. Developers can add custom attributes to increase the expressivity and design space of gestures. We present several example attributes that can be added to touch events. The direction of a touch is determined by the last two positions of the touch, which are binned into the eight compass directions. As indicated by the symbol up top, the touch is moving north, then east, then south, then west. Here, we use the direction attribute to specify that east-west motion on the second touch should rotate objects, and north-south motion should scale them. A group of touches is determined to be pinching if the touches move towards the centroid of the group. If they move away from the centroid, then they are spreading. Otherwise, there is no change. Here, a pinch zooms out of the canvas, and a spread zooms into the canvas. The area of a touch is divided into two levels, small area and large area. Here, a large touch area moves the entire stack of cards while a small touch area moves just the topmost card. The orientation of a touch is divided into three levels, left, up, and right. Here, the orientation of the touch specifies the color to set the background. The screen location of a touch is assigned based on where the touch originates. We split the screen in half and assign different values to the touches originating on left or right sides. Here, we use screen location to assign touches to players in a two-player game. We can set Proton++ to output touch events at a fixed rate, such as 30 Hz, thus encoding duration into the touch event symbols. In this novice marking menu, Menu items appear after a touch stays stationary for 10 move event symbols, about one-third of a second. We conducted a user study to investigate how quickly developers could recognize gestures using Proton++ tablatures and expressions. In our first task, we showed participants a gesture description, either in tablature, a regular expression, or as iOS event handling pseudocode. Then, we asked them to identify which video of a gesture would match that description. Our results show that users read tablature the fastest. They were 2.1 times slower reading expressions, and 4.7 times slower reading event handling code. In a second task, we asked users to identify gestures with direction attributes. Here, we find that users read tablature the fastest, they were 2 times slower reading expressions and 4.2 times slower reading event handling code. This suggests that tablature and regular expressions make it easier for developers to read multi-touch gestures. Proton++ not only makes multi-touch gestures more understandable, it also allows developers to build more expressive and complex gestures.